Are you on your way? Are you coming soon to me? No parking in the bay. So I'ma send an Uber to your place. Is my secret safe? Safe with just you and me. We can't leave a trace. This is my favorite mistake. actually vlogged so I'm super excited it's my first week of my surgery rotation so my surgery rotation is transplant surgery so um, I'm really excited about it at first I was like eh, eh. but after meeting the team and everyone I'm super excited can't wait to get started I hear there's a lot of opportunities to scrub into surgeries it's mainly observing but you know I still want to be in the OR so that's gonna be very nice so it's 11 43 a.m. so I actually left very early because there's one surgery scheduled for later today but the doctor was like we don't have to come in because it's like gonna be super quick and I don't have access to like the green scrubs yet well I do have access but I couldn't get into the scrub machine because they were having like some issues so today's basically a free day so I'm gonna use this to catch up to catch up wash my hair get my life together all that good stuff this is my sixth rotation before surgery I was doing psych and psych I didn't vlog because honestly it was extremely boring studied the whole time so your psych rotation is a good time to relax and study and I guess because they're psych, there's not really much that you can really do. It's more, mostly like medication management, and that's pretty much it. Like we, we didn't have like therapy, like connected to our clinic, so we couldn't really. And then you can't really sit into so much therapy sessions either. So I'm really liking surgery, and I think that I would want to go into a surgical subspecialty. So I'm just really excited to like get to see like firsthand experience of what's going on, and. Uh, resident that works in the transplant unit he is so nice and he was like any opportunities that i see for you like i got you girl and i'm like thank you so i just washed my hair i haven't washed my hair in two and a half weeks so it was a lot of work but we got it done i used all pattern to wash my hair in olaplex and the pattern was actually very good this is how much hair i lost so it's a lot, low key, but I'm not like really anal about shedding hair because I barely detangle my hair. I detangle it like once a week, so I knew I was going to lose a lot of hair, so I'm okay with that. I've been using this, and I don't like it. I hate it, so I went out and I bought this because this is the one I was using before, the custard, and I really liked it. And ever since I ran out of this, I have not been doing my hair. So. so the back of my hair doesn't have any hair dye and I'm low key over the hair dye for like a split two seconds I thought about cutting off the colored part but I don't want to go through the awkward length phase right now so I'm like I'll just let it grow out and then let that be the end of it. Hands up high. Hands up high, tell them dim the lights down right now, put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, uh, and I know your taste is a little bit, mm, high maintenance, uh, everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice, poetic So, this is dinner today. It's from Trader Joe's. <laughs> Never had it before, but the instructions say to make on stove top, so that's what I'm gonna do. And it's 
mushroom. I wish I had something with meat, but I told Mike to go get it, and that's what he got. So beggars can't be choosers. Justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you and you're in the mood for empathy. It's blood in my pen. Better yet, with your friends and them. I really want to know you all. I really want to show you all. hospital and today um, I was able to round on some patients and that was pretty much it so I actually found out I've been with the wrong surgical team I'm supposed to be with the kidney transplants but I've been with the liver transplants and now I'm kind of embarrassed to be like I'm in the wrong area but I have to do that because the kidney doctor is the one that's actually doing my evaluations so I don't want him to get the evaluations and being like and being like who is this person she never showed up so I emailed or no I texted one of the residents from the kidney team he hasn't responded yet and I don't know if he will respond but tomorrow I'm gonna go up to the kidney floor and introduce myself and hopefully I get on the right team ran out of here super fast this morning because I was so tired and I wanted to be on time so I didn't get to go to the gym so I'm about to go to the gym right now because your girl is being consistent i was thinking like you guys get to see my life and what i'm up to and i want to know what you guys are up to too like how old are you guys like where are you guys from i know y'all be shy in the comments okay but <laughs> let me know like are you guys pa students are you pre-pa um are you like not even anything pa related you're just here for the vibes like let me know like i feel like i just want to get to know you guys more and i want to interact for those that care about skincare this is the hyaluronic acid that i use in baby I'll be using her. Like, I used to have extremely bad skin. Um, I had a lot of acne when I was like, in my late teens, I would say, like 18, 19. And I had to get on Accutane. So I got on Accutane and then that totally like cleared my skin up. Like I highly recommend the side effects are crazy, yes. Um, but they're definitely worth it because I used to be like uncomfortable on my skin and now I'm not. I go out without makeup, whatever, like, I was never like, I have to wear makeup all the time, but, you know, I was self-conscious about it, so. After I got on Accutane, I didn't do anything for my skin, like, I was just, I was like, okay, my skin cleared up, I didn't have a nighttime routine, I would wash my face, I think with like Cetaphil, so I wash my face and... That would pretty much be it. Like, I wouldn't put sunscreen or anything, I know. So then, after that, I think, like, maybe two years passed, and then I got acne again. It wasn't as bad as the first time, but yeah, your girl had acne again, and I was like, oh my gosh. I was literally traumatized, because I was like, ain't no freaking way. So I actually got acne again around, like, when I first started PA school. So I would say like two years or maybe a year after my first round of Accutane. So then I got back on Accutane. So I did two rounds of Accutane and that cleared my skin up as well to like basically about what it is now. So I would say it's pretty clear. I do get acne like every once in a while, like one bump, especially like when my period is about to come, but nothing too crazy. And because I was traumatized from last time, I was like, I need to get a skincare routine because basically I'm not trying to go on Accutane for a third time. And I just can't believe that I wasn't doing that before. Like, that's actually embarrassing. But yeah, so my skin is back on track and we are very, 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 very happy about it. I am so jealous. 
of people with good skin that don't have to do anything but that is not me like I have to work on my skin I just got hip to this Trader Joe's sunscreen I didn't even know Trader Joe's had sunscreen but this is it especially if you have like darker skin it's really good because it doesn't leave the white cast and I used to use black girl sunscreen and I've also used Ambi. Ambi is a really good one as well I prefer this over black girl sunscreen I think black girl sunscreen has two different ones and one of them is like super liquidy and I feel like does leave a white cast when you apply a lot and then the other one I didn't like the smell it had that like sunscreen smell and this has no scent is it does it have a scent no scent oil free it's perfect I love it I just got out of the hospital so I found the team that I'm supposed to be a part of and it's much smaller the liver team had seven students and this one is only two students me and a med student so that's way better more opportunities to see stuff more more opportunities to get involved so I'm really happy about that and just the overall team is really small there's only two fellows and then the attending this week there's not that many surgeries because it's actually fourth of july weekend so the fellow said maybe next week we'll get to see more surgeries so this week was basically just pre-op and post-op and tomorrow i'm off so i'm actually gonna go to boca to go to my parents place and i'm back on friday <clears throat> and friday i'm also going to canada so let's get into some cases that i saw today there's four different cases that i saw three of them are post-op and then one of them is like a pre-op visit so the post-op is an fsgs patient which is like um i believe it's an autoimmune condition that affects the kidneys the second one was post-op that had um ileus so their uh, intestines weren't like um, moving properly so it was very low GI mobility and then the other one was a post-op hematoma and these are all things that I was literally reading yesterday so to get to see them in person is so cool I feel like it just clicks when you read something in a textbook and then you get into the clinic and you actually see it it just makes it really stick and like you can understand everything better and then the other one was a pre-op so it's a patient that recently had a kidney transplant had like a bunch of complications the patient ended up like bleeding internally and all this stuff so the kidney they had to like remove the kidney i believe so the patient is without a kidney right now and they're back in like their pre-op phase my loves so i am in boca now i am studying i'm really trying to stay on top of it for this rotation trying to finish strong even though senioritis is definitely starting to hit definitely but um i feel like surgery is a very well-rounded rotation so I'm trying to take my studies seriously because I low-key also want to start studying for the pants so that I can hopefully take it in the end of January. So I'm kind of using like my studying right now kind of like as pants studying as well. <music> basically I use my notes from school and if there's anything that I'm not super sure about I like ask ChatGPT for like a quick summary 
and if it sounds right I'm like that sounds right um, but I don't trust it completely because it has definitely given me like wrong information before so if I'm like mm, I feel like I heard differently then I'll actually like look it up but it's just a good like refresher because it gives it to you in like simple terms which is really good for studying Good morning, my love. So I am officially in Canada. I got back pretty late last night. It was like 10 p.m. And then we chilled, vibed. I'm staying with my cousins. And I'm actually here because my girl, my sister, um, is getting engaged this weekend. So... We came for the engagement and it's like a surprise but other than that like i don't really plan on doing much honestly like i still have to study and do all these things so that still has to happen and um we're gonna go to dinner tonight which i'm super excited because i've never been like out in canada like so i'm kind of excited to see what canada's talking about i'm about to get into my devotionals right now i usually do this first thing in the morning but i wanted to say hello to you guys because i didn't really get a chance to talk to you guys yesterday obviously my getting in yeah, so we were talking about like you know life and all this stuff and she was like you know like you're gonna and i'm like yeah i'm ready to like you know start my life and like all this stuff i'm like i don't think my parents are ready though she's like no your parents are ready like who said that absolutely and she was like you think they want to be dealing with you guys like still, still? Mm -hmm. you know she was like no like they're tired like trust me she was like they're tired and i'm like no that's not true you don't know my parents mm -hmm. and she had called my dad over and she was like don't you want to train and i like started laughing he was like oh yeah mm -hmm. and then she, i was so shocked and she was like yeah she thought you were ready he was like no i'm ready he was like you don't think i want to be going to your house for like dinners and stuff like you know like i want to be doing that stuff with you guys like we're past this and i'm like I feel that we at this point in time in 2024 are educated enough to know that like that when you're bringing a child into the world, you're bringing a whole other person into onto the planet, and you should know what that means. Mm -hmm. And it's a responsibility. It's not just it's not yeah, just it's not for cuteness. firm in, in an egg. It's not I mean? it's a, yeah, so I feel them. like it's really until you die. Yeah, you raise get them. married and shit, but when shit goes south, and hope and I hope not. You know what I mean? Yeah, not for world. sure. And for you want sure. your kids have kids? You need to be yeah, married now. For sure. So this is poutine. How is it? It's good. How is it, Tyler? I got chicken. It looks really good. This is the man of the hour. It is a prize tomorrow. Your heart is 
Hey guys, so I'm here to announce the winner of the giveaway. First off, I just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys that commented and entered the giveaway. All of your comments were so encouraging. I read every single one of them. And shout out to all the people that followed me on Instagram. Um, I really love interacting with you guys and getting to see what you guys are up to. And so the winner of the giveaway is Love Aso 7517 So that's at love also underscore seven five one seven so i will be messaging you and we'll be keeping in touch so i can figure out how to send you your gift so again thank you guys so much